Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying the page visibility API in JavaScript and how to use this API to detect and run some code when a user leaves and returns to a tab. The browser triggers numerous events for different things that happen in the browser. You have the click event, blow event, change event, error event, and there are even lots more. Amongst all these events, there is also the visibility change event, which is triggered from the page visibility API when there is a change in a tab's visibility. I have these two tabs open on my browser which I would use to explain for the rest of this video so I have this first tab which is my decode YouTube channel and I have the second tab which is the Google home page on this tab the YouTube channel when I leave this tab to this tab the visibility change event is triggered on this tab because this tab is now invisible it is hidden when I come back to the YouTube tab the visibility change event is also triggered because this tab is now active I'm going to show you what I mean here by adding an event listener in the browser console so I'm going to add document that add event listener visibility change then I add a function and then this function I'm going to say console log user switched tabs. I'm going to close this and I'm going to close this and I'm going to close this. Now when I come to this tab, we have switch tab. That event is going to be triggered. When I come back, it's going to be triggered again. So you can see that it is triggered two times. But how do we know if this tab is active or if this tab is hidden? Aside emitting the visibility change event, the page visibility API also provides the visibility state of a tab. Now this tab is a document. So using the page visibility API, we can find the state of the tab on the visibility state. You can see it is currently visible because this tab is visible. I'm going to run a set timeout here just to quickly show you that it can also be hidden. I pass a function here. I'm just going to console.log state. Close the function. I'm going to run this for two seconds and then I close the set timeout. So I'll quickly run to this place. So when I run here after two seconds, when I come back, you can see that the visibility state was hidden when we were on the other tab. Now, using this visibility change event and using this visibility state property from the page visibility API, you can execute some code when a user leaves a tab and when they return to that tab. A good use case for this is, for example, when a user is watching a video, if the user goes to this tab, you can programmatically pause the video on this tab. And when the user returns back to the tab, you can programmatically play the video. I'm going to show you an example here that uses the visibility change event and the page visibility API. So I'm going to refresh this tab. I'll create a function. I'll call this handle visibility change. And this function, I'm going to check if document.visibility state is hidden. I'll just console log user left this tab. And down here, you can run any form of code. You can pause a video or whatever your use case may be. Else, so if the visibility state is not hidden, then it is visible. I'm going to say console log user returned to tab. You can also run any code you want here, like playing a video or like I said, whatever your use case may be. I'll close this function and on the document, I'm going to add an event listener and I'll add the visibility change. Hope I'm spelling that right. Then I pass the callback function as the handle visibility change like this. Then I close the function. Now watch what happens when I leave this tab and when I return back to the tab. When I leave the tab, the visibility state is going to be hidden. So the code that we have placed there would be run. When I come back to the tab, the visibility state will be visible and whatever code I run will be there. So you can see user left this tab, user returned to tab. So you can see how using the page visibility API and the visibility change event that the browser triggers, you can use this to programmatically run some code when the user leaves and when they return to a tab. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content.